guys. It's, uh, it's been a minute uh, since I've made a YouTube video. I really want to talk to you guys today about this nifty little lens that I just recently picked up. Let's see if my Fuji film will focus on it. There it is. This is the TT Artisan 50 millimeter F 1.2 lens. And honestly, as soon as I used it for the first time, I knew I had to have one uh, because they are so incredibly affordable, but made out of good material. You can hear that's a, that's a metal lens cap, which is pretty neat. I was actually out shooting with Zach Mayfield. If you don't know who Zach Mayfield is, he's the new host of Kino Tika. So I've been hanging out with him again. It kind of feels like the old days shooting with Kino Tika. And he picked up this TT Artisan lens and I was taking some photos with it. We were doing a photography vlog in downtown Nashville and there's something about it. It's kind of like a modern vintage lens. As you guys know, I love the Helios 44-2. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna keep pushing it. Go check out my Helios 44-2 history behind this lens. Very interesting lens. But I'm really starting to love more of this vintage, less sharp kind of character look, so to speak. And that's honestly why I love shooting on my Fujifilm X-T4. We're actually shooting in, I think it's called classic negative. I'm not even shooting an F-log because I love the film simulations. It's something that I don't take advantage of on my Fujifilm enough. I just kind of always shoot F-log because I'm taught I need to shoot log so I can color grade it later. But I don't know, if it looks good, why change it? And this lens just kind of spoke to me. It's it's actually super affordable, like I said. So it actually goes for on B&H or Amazon about $98, which is incredible for a 50 millimeter F1.2. I mean, if we just take a look at the element here, look at that, nice and wide. It allows you to get like this really nice shallow depth of field. Now, again, it is a little on the softer side, which I'm a fan of, but if you're looking for clinical sharpness, this definitely isn't the lens for you, but the way I see it, these TT Artisan lenses are kind of perfect for getting a set of prime lenses at an affordable price. Cause if you were to get a Fujifilm prime lens, I mean, you're looking at several hundred dollars to well over a thousand dollars. And then for a hundred bucks, you can get a 50 millimeter. And I think they also have a 35 millimeter. Let me look at it. Yeah, they also sell a 35 millimeter F 1.4 and that one goes for $73. So again, super affordable. Now they're not just for Fujifilm mount. So if you're not using the Fujifilm X mount cameras, don't worry. They also have Sony E mount, Canon EF mount, and then APS-C, which, or rather micro four thirds, which should work, I believe with like Panasonic. One thing to note is that any footage that you guys see of the TT Artisan 50 millimeter was shot on the Helios 44-2. So you can kind of compare and contrast the different characteristics and quality between these two lenses. Now, this isn't a comparison video. It's not even barely a review, but it is something that hopefully you guys can draw some conclusions onto the vintage-esque quality of this modern lens. Hey, sorry, one thing I forgot to mention, hence the hat, because I was over there editing. Uh, the TT Artisan does have a clicked aperture, which I know a lot of people in the filmmaking side of things doesn't like it when it clicks. Um, whereas a lot of people would prefer maybe a declicked aperture. In photography, I know that it doesn't really seem to matter either way. Personally, I actually liked a clicked aperture uh, over a declicked because the chances are I'm not going to be pulling my aperture in most any circumstance. I suppose maybe if I was walking from a really bright area into a dark area or the opposite, but I don't know. I probably just wouldn't shoot that shot at all. So yeah, clicked aperture if that matters. Kind of a quick video. I just really wanted to show off this new lens that I'm gonna be rocking for a while on my camera. If you have any other lenses similar in this kind of vein, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below and or if there's other vintage lenses that I need to look into getting, also let me know in the comment section down below. I'm also considering getting into film photography. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I was um, shooting with a buddy, uh, his name's Dave, and he was showing me the Nikon 
F3. I took a picture of it with my iPhone, so there it is. It's a really sick looking camera. I kind of was thinking about maybe snagging one of them. They're about $400 or so, so not too terrible, although you spend a fortune on film and developing it, so maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe I should just stick to Fujifilm, but anyways, guys, this has just been a quick video about this really dreamy, affordable, vintage, but not vintage, modern lens. If you guys are interested in picking one up, I'll definitely leave a link in the description and down below. Once again, I'm Connor McCaskill. Thanks so much for hanging and I'll see you whenever I post another video. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.